Hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn the shading final uh, class of shading. Uh, the, we will learn the specular reflection, and we will learn the we will finalize the pong shading. So actually, th this lecture is the the final lecture of WebGL tutorial. Okay. So uh, I will finish the first uh, the coursework of uh, WebGL tutorial and then and then I will upload the, the, the some some kind of application for example in for example very specific application for using the WebGL for example WebGL uh, the, the video the texturing or that kind of thing will be uploaded to YouTube please watch my video about if you want to if you continue to run WebGL and use WebGL, okay. Let's start the lecture, okay. So specular surface, specular is very. Uh, I already explained that it is very shiny part in 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 smooth surface. So the it looks shiny it is because the our eye, for example, the eye or camera is located in here, then. Then the light pro came from the light source reflected to the to, 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 so the surface of surface of object, and then it is uh, the, the same as the, the the just opposite direction of a normal vector. It reflected to to to. The opposite direction of normal back and then it goes to camera or our eye then we can feel that this shiny part okay so the most of the surface are uh, the, the some part is a diffuse object and some part are uh, the specular object so uh, maybe it is possible theoretically it is possible to fully 100 percent the specular object or 100 percent uh, the TPG object is possible, but it's normally in our world, the most of the surface are uh, the mix, mixture of diffusion and, and specular. Okay, so the, the, there there are two way of implementing this uh, this shininess. Okay, first thing is first thing is the we interpol uh, we calculate. The color or shininess in every vertex. Okay, the color is. I will change color to green. We calculate the color or shininess. Then, then send it to. Okay, where is the the place to ca ca comp this com computation? Previous lecture we learned the how to calculate the lamb Lambertian model. And then we implement it with WebGL. With computation is done by vertex shader. Okay, done by vertex shader. So we calculate the, this color, and then the GL flag color. Maybe the uh, we in vertex shader we calculate the color, and then send it into as a bearing. Bearing, we send it to fragment shader. Okay. Then fragment shade just used color, but the in rendering stage automatically this interpolation interpolation is occurred. So this kind of result will be uh, will be rendered. Okay, so you can see some kind of a letter or something to get this uh, to get this kind of result. So we the in case of a spear. Then we need to subdivide this triangle more, more into more small, small portion. So you you, you can see that so if if you, you can download this my PPT or PDF file, then you can see that there is a very small triangle. There is. I can understand that very tr tiny triangle. We can divide the. Speed, the vertex or triangle with very tiny triangle, then we can get very high quality 
rendering. You can see that the, this boundary is uh, has some kind of a, some kind of an angle. So it you can see that the, the vertex number of vertex is very small compared to this the good shaped the good shaped sphere. But the problem is if we increase the the number of vertexes, then computation time and energy is what is required to render this result. Sometimes it is not possible to render 60 frames per second if the the shape is, is too complex. So, so if possible, we want to reduce the, reduce the number of vortex for maintain high performance rendering. If you want to get the more frame per second, then we need frame frame per second, then we need to reduce the, the number of vertex, okay? So it is so natural, it's a trade-off between performance and quality. But so and so and the another view, so pre, there are two kinds of shader, the vertex shader and pregnant shader. So the, in vertex shader we can render we can decide the color by vertex in vertex shader it is only we can get that the get the color with vertex shaders and we it is it is proportional to number of vertex but calculate it then parameter shader does not have so complex computation but the problem is let's see this example in case of some very local, I think it is somewhat very small local light, then let's think about that. Okay, there is some triangle. It is cube, so there is some triangle. Any, there are four vertices, and then very near place of some, some near of this. The so this surface, the light is point light source located in here. So then we calculate we calculate not specular, we calculate diffuse color. And then oh yeah, it is almost red, but it is slightly dark. For example, 0 0.3, 0 0.0, 0 0.0. Okay, we calculated this color of this vertex so oh it is same as that 0 0.3 0 0.0 0 0.0 rgb value same as the, like this so because it is i think it is the light source is located in center of this square then all all four vertex has same rgb value okay then this color is goes to frame Shape, pregnant shader, then, or rasterization, then in pregnant shader, they interpolate the, this color value, and then they interpolate and the, set the, the, each pixel's color. So, with with this interpolation, because all all three, three vertex in this triangle has same color, so all triangle filled with 0 0.3, 0. 0, 0, 0. But look at this picture. It is much more natural. It is much more natural. Why? Because they don't have any information that it is it is located near this surface. So in 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 this place, that in this place is very bright area. This area is dark area, but the problem is the vertex color is looks the same, but it does not. It does not Im implement the, this bright area by interpolating color of vertexes. So it is a big problem. Okay. So we need to we need to send send it to to we need to postpone to calculate distance from distance from or direction from light source to from vertex shader from vertex shader to frame sh 
fragment shader. We need to post upon it. If it is sent it to fragment shader, the, we, we need to send some information. What kind of information? Light position. And maybe light position will be fixed to the common to every, every vertex so we can use uniform value. So we need to data to sending with varying. So we need to send the vertex position V and then we need to send the normal vector of this, this vertex normal should be sent it to Prima test shader and then Prima shader interpolate the position vector and then normal vector is interpolated. So let's think about that. I, I will look at this, this surface rotate like that, then normal vector and vertex position. Then so V and N will be sent to Prima shader. Then in Prima shader, it will be interpolated. So the position the, in middle of this point will have point interpolated and normal vector will be interpolated. And then if we calculate it with the light source, then wow, it is very straight direction of light source. It will be very bright area. Okay. But in this case, oh yeah, the, this direction is very, the, the angle of this direct, angle between the my normal vector and light direction is different so it will be go to 0 0.3 but it will be oh it is almost the same direction so it will go to 1.0 then we can the, the, there are so many interpolated and vertex position and normal so we can get bright area so if we send it into into to to calculating the the light in in calculation of a Lambert model or, or diffusion model or specular model, specular lighting, then we, if we send it to Fremont shader, we can get we can get more high quality rendering. But the problem is still the performance. There are another thing. Okay, so if we send this calculation from vertex shader to Fremont shader. If we don't in increase number of vertex in number of vertex, then it will be the boundary shape will be will not change. So the if we just increase, we just we, we don't increase. We did not increase increase number of vertex, and then we send it the the frame uh, shading into frame shader, then then. We, we can get a very similar result like this, but but the, the outline shape will be still rough and tough space, okay? So in this area, we can get a very similar result with, with this picture, but in outline boundary will be like this. It is because we did not increase the number of vertex. So, so, then, okay, let, let's go to the, the coding session. So, I, first, I will change, I will change uh, the, 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 I will merge the view matrix and model matrix. And then, why? It is because uh, the, if, if we merge the view matrix and, uh, the view matrix and model transform matrix, then, the coordinate system became became become like this. So yes, this is light end. So 0 0.0.0, 0 .0 is was the here, but if we we apply the view view transformation, then it, it is changed into the our eye or camera position became 0, 0, 0, 0. It is much more easy to the, the convenient to calculate the the reflection angle or the, the, the calculated with the, the, the eye input angle, it is much more easier to calculate it. The, the equation is much, much simpler. So uh, we will merge it. And then we already developed in, in uh, WebGL tutorial previous class, the shading flat sample code 
was we already implemented the, 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 the plot diffuse shading with vertex shading, but I will transform into, into fragment shader. And then I will use very small local light like this. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's make code first. I will copy the, the shader plot to form. Then there will be, yes, then let's check the result first. Yes. Okay. And rotate. So it is automatically uh, rotating X and Y direction. And then we can see this some by, by direction of light, then uh, the shape is changed, okay? And color is changed on surface. Okay, then first thing we need to move, merge the B matrix and, and uh, model transform matrix. Okay, so our shader code, shader code, there is a two, a two we send it uh, four matrix. Now we send four matrix. One is model matrix, B matrix, P matrix. So I will change it into M matrix with M and V matrix, okay? So I will remove V matrix. Sorry, M V matrix. Okay, so I will change the order. We will, we will the use the P matrix, V matrix, M matrix order, then I will change the name with VM matrix, VN model matrix. Let's search M matrix. Okay. Then there is some, oh yeah, the M matrix is used in code. It will be changed to V matrix. Then next place, there is a, uh, the, 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 the set the location. So I will change it V matrix, VM matrix. And then also I change the name of locations of VM matrix. I remove P matrix location. And then okay. The first the model matrix is mm, yes is okay. The the matrix is calculated from rotation and then uh, then rotate Y and rotate X. And then, the, before that, we need to make some, where, where is the look at, okay? Look at, where, here it is. So, it make a V matrix by here. So, in first step, we need to making it, okay, with V matrix. So, I will change the V M matrix then we need it okay we met where is we matrix no, we don't need V matrix at all okay so the 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 command the the from y rotation is calculating from identity matrix so we need to change it with the rotate y okay rotate y because we already the made matrix with we look at so first we need to build look at and then we rotate y and then the parameter is changed vm matrix and rotate y and rotate x and also we need to to m matrix is inverted and transformation so it is, I think it is for normal matrix. So VM matrix, it changed into VM matrix. We will send VM matrix to shader by GL uniform matrix for V, oh, sorry, for V. And then we don't have to send V matrix, okay? P, M, V. Okay, and then we need to normal vector, we need to send normal vector, okay, that's okay. So, those are the things. Okay, okay. 
we changed all. Let's check the result. I changed it and I'll load it. Oops, sorry. Where is VMAT? VMAT is still using. Where is VMAT? Okay, GL position is already, the V matrix is multiplied in here, so I have changed it. Okay, right. And then, load it. Oops. Oops. There is no error, but... So. Uh, I hate that. Okay, I'll pause the recording and then I should do I found it. It's a, in here, so we we need to uh, uh, define the VM matrix first, and then we need to use it. Okay, so I write it and I changed it. Okay, and toggle animation. Yeah, it works well. It's exactly same as. Okay. I feel that it is something moving, like very strange, isn't it? Okay, it is exactly the same as the previous, so we successfully merged that V matrix and M matrix. And another thing, so I will explain that, in framework shader, there is, the in previous version, we multiplied VM matrix and P matrix separate, V matrix and M matrix separately. The that is very idiot thing because we, we, in every vertex and every process of vertex process, we need to calculate it in, in, in the, the, the matrix multiplication is redundantly done by the, the vertex processor. If we calculate it once in CPU, then we can send it via matrix, then easily we can calculate that, uh, calculate, the, we can reduce a huge quantity of computation of vertex processor by by the sending with just one matrix. So we need to do that, okay? But but maybe you can think that oh yeah then we need to calculate the p matrix multiplication in advance to sending vertex shader. But problem is we will in next step we will that we will make some kind of a um, pr uh, reflection mapping. But in if in case of a reflection the the the, the specular reflection calculation. If the, the projection matrix is applied, then we can calculate. We cannot calculate the the, the, the reflection because the, the space is the warp warp changes. So so we need we need to maintain the VM matrix but the P matrix separately. Okay. And then let's go to let's go to try to make some some uh, local the point light okay so I said that it, let's think about that is uh, the, the, this the light is is it is position okay it is not a direction it is position so then in a view of each vertex each vertex then they can calculate distance okay so let's calculate distance how can you do that? Okay, position. Okay. Uh, I said, I said that the, the bearing variable vertex V, that is the vertex position. So the, we, we calculate with transformation by normal transformation. And then it, it is normalized in, and, and it sent, it is sent to, it will be sent to frame one shader. In first step, we need to program it in vertex shade local light. So we need to calculate the position of vertex. So that is position of vertex is V equals, we should multiply with and change to factor three, then, okay, with the VM 
matrix multiply we change it back to 4 to to okay okay my vertex okay my vertex then we can get get uh, the vertex position so then we already calculated the multiplication then we don't have to use this thing okay we can reduce it with okay v then we can send gel get position let's check the code Hello. so it must be changed to vertex 4 insert back 4 with vertex and yes 1.0 then it'll work yes working well i think it is still same but we okay then we want to change that it 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 is it, it, shading with the point color okay so let's calculate the, the let's define fruit variable distance okay so let's calculate the distance there is some so many built-in function uh, built-in uh, shader function so you can refer the the, the web gl quick reference in located in the the kit servers okay so there is some reference card then you can check that the, which function is available in last page of quick reference is shading language okay so it is there is some some definition of shading functions or something so let's check the trying to find its distance okay. okay there is two distance function okay plot point distance with the two, uh, the two vector then we can calculate the distance between two vectors okay so Let's see, let's calculate with the distance function. Okay, distance is this is yep, right position. Then we can calculate we can get the distance. So okay, we set the light position is one point one point one. So the 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 if cube is rotating in 0, 0, 0, then and so, so sometimes we need to, we need to think about that so light position is the coordinate of light position is is the if we change the camera then we should think about that light position is fixed or light position is uh, is the same with the following the object for example light is in here then if we change the camera, then it should be changed with like that. But in case of writing is fixed and the model is moving, then we need, we need to control it. So, so sometimes we need to multiply with the transform matrix with the light position vector. But in this case, we will just use the, just the inside of the shader. So I will use the, the fixed position. So. So it is so it is so I coordinate 1.1.1 1 .1 .1. so the in in camera does it is located in in here okay so cat distance I think is a maximum of two so I will I will use the um, Distance with distillate, distillate with this one of this 1.0 divided into this, this multiplied this because in general the 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 light light the the light intensity is reduced by if is light going far from the object then it is proportional to square of distance distance so no no inverse the prop proportional to 
distance square. So I will use this equation, but let's test it with this, this thing. Then we can change it. Okay, later. So then the, we, we set the, the pixel position right. And then the, that dist, distance will be used for, cal, for calculating calculating <clears throat> the color okay so light color is calculated by dawn matrix uh, and then my color is used and then and then the max of dot product with light position yeah i will multiply the, 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 that this distance in here okay distance then distance will work on the change the color if distance is far then it will be changed into somewhat dark reloaded oops there is some kind of error i think i just calculated distance and then inverse it and with distance square then it is it is multiplied to color so okay then i will change it into 1.0 and it, it it should be returned to original no what what the, what's the problem uh -huh. okay i find it i'm sorry i i missed the uh, i missed the back backslash okay so but i can understand why there was no compiler error so okay i will turn on uh, distance again okay. then write it okay then i will check it with uh okay uh, web server okay it is changed it it changed into somewhat dark okay so we i will animate it then it if it is go to near the place then i think it is very bright and it is located in so i th i think we need to multiply somewhat much more big big values so i will change it into distance two with two okay then okay load it so somewhat change it and then you can but still have same problem with that if it is located in some place so maybe it, it in the this square the near the near place should be brighter than this but it we cannot express this effect it is because it is we changed the just the vertex code only so to express that e effect it must be changed to it must be changed with with pregnant shader okay i'll do that with pre, i'll i'll transfer it to pregnant shader okay let's move the 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 shading code to, from vertex shader to to, to pregnant shader okay so okay there is some variable light and light color and distance and and right calculation that should be you can transport it into the the, the into the primary shader so i will cut and then i'll move to here primary shader okay but the be careful the in vertex shader the the precision the high p medium p low p precision is not important in vertex shader vertex shader processors normally they think the precision is high p so but in premium shader it, it should be very the performance sensitive we need to precisely define the precision the precision of protein pointer so we need to add high p or more medium p or low p okay high p test okay so when you we define variable so so we need to define it and this will be light will be calculated like that then we need to move 
Okay, we need to move distance calculations. So we move to 2 dt and then send it into here and then and then we need to copy color calculation shading code shading code and then I copied it then so let's think about that okay so color is intensity so I think it is kind of a diffuse I will change the variable with okay or oh, high precision okay plotting point okay diffuse okay then diffuse is as I will change it the, the this value is diffuse it's D diffuse Something spelling is so strange. Diffuse. Okay. Diffuse. Diffuse value is calculated that. And then. But the problem is my color. So my color is the, the vertex attribute. So I'll change it into color because we, we send. We send. We can send color to, from vertex shader. So. This calculation must be deleted, and then, and then, I just send the my color to vertex shade, then uh, primary shade, to primary shade, then, then the color is automatically calculated, and then, yeah, so, so distance is multiplied, and then. Okay, let's check the result, right? And then maybe there will be some kind of error. So reload it. Oops, some error. Assigned the high p pro component vector for thing. High p pro point. Okay. Compile to print dimension mismatch. Okay, but what is it? What is dimension mismatch? Diffuse is. Diffuse is okay. No, no, that must be color. So, so yeah, it it should be vector four. Back four color diffuse color and then uh, light color multiply color. Yeah, that is calculated. Then we need to use it in here in diffuse. Okay. Then maybe uh, oh, later we will change it into the, the mixture of texture. Okay, then reload it. Okay, so it is changing. So, but still we cannot feel that effect of the distance of uh, light source. I will put at something some more more nearest place to to see the, the, the distance effect. Okay, so light position is, light position, sorry. Light position is in here, so I will change it in 0, 0.0. I'll position it in light side of cube. 0.7, 0 point, 0 point then, okay, reload it. Then, yes, can, can you feel that? So this area, okay, rotate it. Then if we go to this place, that it is quite bright. Okay, so let's move it into in our local place. So it should be jet zero point eight. I'll change zero point eight. Okay, then load it. Then. Point light source located in the center, so the 
I think it's something <laughs> confusing. So we need to go to minus direction or oh okay I will change it into minus then reload it. Oh yeah it is minus. So yeah this area is quite bright. You can see that? Okay, right position is should be minus. So very funny. Okay. Okay, we can get some local light effect by we sending the 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 deep, the the code into to into the primary shader. So we can get this effect. It is not a specular. It it is somewhat. It is kind of diffuse, but it is the uh, the, the the distance the attenuation have light source have distance attenuation so we can get this kind of result okay and then let's go to in next session we will learn how to turn on a specular light okay i'm i'm sorry i'm trying to to finish the all lecture of webgl today but i think then the video is too long to to learn so i cut uh, this video and then i will make the 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 pong shading programming course in next session okay have a nice day and see you soon bye